In today's video, we're gonna learn the principles and techniques in Final Cut Pro to create B-rolls like this. This is your boy Raheem Moyang. Welcome to another video. I'm gonna teach you guys editing today. A lot of people have been DMing me on Instagram, commenting on my YouTube videos, asking me how do I create these seamless transitions. So today I'm gonna teach you all of that. I'm gonna teach you how I create these seamless transitions, step by step, my editing workflow. I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know to create seamless professional transitional video. videos. Videos. <laughs> First, we're gonna use the principle of movement to create seamless transition between both of these shots. The first shot here is of an egg yolk into the pan. And our second shot is of a chef open in the lid of the pot. So in the first shot, the frame is stable, but the object inside, which is the egg yolk, it's moving. It's moving inside. And in our second shot, here you notice this black part, that's moving the round circle is going inside. Hence, these two shots when cut together can create a seamless cut. So in the first shot, I'm gonna cut right when the egg hits the pan and cut the rest of it out, it's not needed. And in our second shot, I'm gonna cut right at the moment where the chef just starts to pick up the lid. Let's see how these shots look cut together. You see the cut works well because the movement is carried forward from one shot to another. For our second example, we're gonna use the principle of movement and speed ramp. So here I have a shot of a skateboard and I have a shot of a chef tossing the food up in the air. Isn't that beautiful? If you notice the shot one, the frame is stable, but the skateboard is the subject that is moving upwards. And the second shot, the frame is stable, but the food is the object moving upwards. Hence, the principle of movement will work between both of them. So I'm gonna create a quick speed up between both of these shots to create a seamless transition. I'm gonna select the point where I want the speed to go up. Press Shift B, that activates the speed ramp. And I wanna speed it up in the later part of the clip. We already have options by default. To fast and slow, I'm gonna go for 8X. If you see, there's the fader between the two speeds. To go from 100% to 800% and this is the fader, you can extend this fader to make the transition smoother. And in our second shot, I'm gonna go to the very point where the food just starts to rise up. Somewhere here. I'm gonna go to the point where I want the food to start slowing back down to normal speed. Right here, I'm gonna press Shift B again. I'm gonna make the starting part of this clip fast like we made the ending part of the first clip fast so that the transition happens in the speed ramp. Again, I'm gonna use 8x speed. The speed ramp really works in six to eight frames, so that's pretty quick. So let's see how these two are working together. Okay, look at the quick action at the end. Here is the speed ramp. They're working beautiful together because both of these shots have the same movement of the subject inside the frame. The speed ramp really helped to make the cut seamless. Wow, isn't that beautiful? So for our third example, we're gonna use the principle of impact to create seamless cut. Here I have three shots. One of me and my girlfriend on a jet ski in Panama. 
Then a shot of me coming from under the water to the surface when I was in Jamaica. Then I have a shot of me again jumping into the water. Let's go to shot one. I'm gonna cut right at the moment where the water fills up the screen and creates an impact on camera. I'm gonna go to shot two. I'm gonna cut right at the very moment where the natural transition between water and air is happening. So just going to cut right there. Let's see how these two are working together. Oh, there you see they're working pretty well. Now, to make this even better, the third clip already starts with a little water of impact on the frame. And then there is this bigger impact of water splashing. I'm going to place this clip between the first two clips because there is an impact on both ends. And we also have impact at the end of this clip and the starting of this clip. So let's see how these clips work together. That's working pretty well. Beautiful. So that's how impact simply creates seamless cuts. For our fourth example, we're gonna use movement and speed ramp once again to create seamless cut. I have a shot of a roller coaster and a shot of a fish in the water. So the roller coaster is going from left to right and the fish is going from left to right. So the movement is in the same direction that will work. So I'm just going to go to the point where I won't want the speed of the roller coaster to start going up. I'm going to choose that point, press shift B and make the next part really fast, 8X. I want the impact to be really fast, so I'm going to reduce the fader. And I'm going to choose the very moment where the fish starts to come inside the water. That's it. I'm not going to use the speed ramp for this second part of the clip. If you see the fish is already coming in motion from left to right and you see it's pretty quick. It's like a natural speed ramp happening. Let's see how these clips are working together. No, all right. Perfect. I love that. So I use the same principle while cutting the intro b-roll sequence which you saw at the beginning of this video. Well, now that you see how easy they are, start using them to make your editing more seamless. Comment below and let me know what your favorite principle is. Whether it's movement, whether it's speed ramps, whether it's impact, let me know below. Remember to like, subscribe and share. And if you get value from this video, subscribe, hit that bell button.